Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of uh, Naked Audio Tutorials. I'm Yong from SG Audio Hive. So uh, for today, uh, it is 10 of October, the 10th 10, 10, uh, sale period uh, where the e-commerce sites, they have uh, some sale event going on. So for us, uh, we'll not be doing a one-day event, we'll be doing a month-long event because it's Founders Month. Uh, October is uh, Founders Birthday. So uh, from now till 11 11, we'll be doing a month long 20% off all online purchases. And uh, it will be inclusive uh, if you bring your items down to uh, our office to repair and modi modify. And uh, we'll still give you the 30% as per normal. Okay, so for today, we'll be talking a bit about the one item that's been in the market for very long the Monk. Uh, the VE Monk earbuds, yeah, and uh, we'll be talk talking about the insights and the mods are available, particularly on the MMCX uh, modification. Mm. <clears throat> okay, if you have realized, uh, our channel has been running for a few months, two months uh, to be exact, uh, from the from the August till now, uh, and also if you have been following our channel, uh, you will be realized that uh, you realize that uh, I have a lot of uh in the video. So today I'll be posting a challenge to you. Uh, the first five person who gets the number, the correct number of us in this video, uh, starting from zero uh, seconds, so the start of the video up to now, I'll be counting myself. Uh, then uh, <laughs> if there's too many us, including this one, it will be counted uh, to be counted. Um, uh, so we will be giving away uh, some token of. Appreciation. That token itself, uh, we will really, we will review them at the end of the video. So it will count to us as a free redetermination if you show us the token itself. Uh, so do stay tuned to the end of the video, and uh, of course, please subscribe to the channel and uh, give us this uh, follow on Instagram. Uh, we need it. <laughs> so uh, without further ado, let's proceed with the modification video. Alright, so you can see on the table you have some items uh, available. So uh, let's get this away. Uh, today we'll be focusing on the MMCX modification. So we will probably need the MMCX uh, female pins. And uh, of course, your monk. These are very cheap, uh, 5 USD. Uh, I believe you guys have been familiar with it. Uh. So there has been a lot of modifications going on uh, in the past where they actually attach an MMCX connector to the end and uh, we have uh, MMCX connector here. But the problem with this modification uh, is that at the end of the day uh, you have a very very long uh, earbud. Very very long. So what we have been doing in our uh, jobs is that uh, we actually cut it off at the V logo and when we attach the MMCX connector it's actually a standard length uh, earbud so we can see here the comparison so you still find that uh, it, it's very uh, it's a nice size and a lot of people will be asking eh, what about the chamber because uh, we have this sound port here the, 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 the air vent here and we can see uh, there are particularly a few air vents on, around the MX500 uh, shelves. So let's open up uh, one of our prototype. Okay. It doesn't show here. So let's open up uh, the one that we're going to mod. As we can see, uh, let's remove the cable. We have a hole here for the wires. But the sound port is actually sealed up. So none of the sound is getting out of the, the second hole. The one that uh, people assume that is the sound port. So this mod will not affect any of the sound quality or the sound performance. Okay now, from, from this uh, to this, uh, actually it's a few simple steps only. But you must have a dedicated tool. Uh, uh, minimally a hacksaw. A saw that uh, you can saw off this... Uh, this excess length 
we look at, take a look at the inside of the housing. We have the air vent around the edges. These are important uh, because uh, the, the, the reason why the base is so good on this, uh, it all depends on the air vent. Let's take a look at the driver. Always a uh, red marking is the positive, so this marking is uh, connected to this point where you see the red wire, the right channel, and the front is uh, all familiar. We can see that some uh, shiny, shiny uh, parts that we can see through the holes. Uh. This is the driver itself. We look at this uh, part here. These are acoustic foams. Uh. The reason it's there is to tame the base. Uh. This is for tuning purposes. Uh. If you want more base, uh, just remove it. See? I have uh, exposed one hole, so uh, the base will be actually stronger by a bit. So if you want super base, uh, remove everything. But uh, not this is not a uh, not what you call uh, not uh, I don't endorse it lah because the original monk tuning is so good. Okay, so I remove the same uh, room one from the other side, and we have the green wire. This is the left channel. For mods uh, since we are cutting off the the bottom uh, the left and the right marking doesn't matter anymore. So uh, whatever your IEM, eh, whatever your cable show uh, connects, uh, it will be whichever. For example, uh, this is a uh, left ch left cable, so it will be the left channel. What we love about this mod uh, is that you can do it yourself uh, quite easily, as long as you have a saw. But we'll be using our Dremel, so it's a faster process, and that. Uh, once it's in this fashion, uh, it's very very small size. It's the exact same length as the standard earbud will be. You can put any of your favorite cable in, uh, and it will work. This mod works on all earbuds, even the UIN PK, uh, uh, and this uh, Zen. But for the LL series, uh, we we'll need to check because uh, the L series is so good that we do not need to mod them. So all in all, this is a fun modification uh, on the monk itself. So we do have a MMCX monitor available. This is the one that uh, is easiest to do. Of course, we have the long MMCX. We do also have the flat MMCX, and uh, you can do it into two pin if you want. Uh, you just need a lot of patience and uh, the proper tools, so you can do it into a two pin. So anything is possible. But for the Venture Electronics, they have already done the two pin version for all their LL and all the new series. Uh, it is a very good move because uh, people get hobbyists lah. The one that buys uh, VE stuff, uh, I believe they are very very ho they are hobbyist uh, status. Um, they try a lot of things that they love uh, and of course, during the process of trying, uh, you, you get to love your product more and more. So, of course, if you do have a cable, uh, you'll be the best. This is uh, our next uh, 24 AWG copper cable. So, okay, when you're going to proceed with the modification, uh, it's the same, uh, you can either retain your your enamel wires on the IEM itself or you can put in new wires. So today we'll be retaining. Okay. So we will unlock this. This is the strain relief portion of the shell or of the cable. Just uh, some effort to unlock it using your nails or some tools. Uh. Of course if you have uh, some tools to help with it, it will be easiest. And after you unload it, uh, just uh, gently uh, pull it out. It will separate from the from the wire itself. And we'll cut them to a sufficient length. Uh, one finger uh, segment is enough, sufficient. It might be too long also. So we cut it off. Do the same for the other side. As with all mods, uh, we will be doing the thinning of the wires. So we have your soldering iron. Uh, this is a flat iron. What we do? Iron on the solder. 
and uh, we'll fit the solder to the wire itself. Thin wires. So let's prepare the driver all the way. Uh, we'll be soldering them to the MSX female connector. This is the square connector. The reason we need the square connector is that uh, it actually will fit into the, the housing and uh, the square part, this excess part, it will hold it into the housing itself. So as we know, uh, the center part of the MMCX uh, female connector will be the signal and the outside, any of the four prongs will be the ground. I'll be doing a more in-depth MMCX comparison video uh, probably this weekend or next week. Alright, so we have done up the preparation of the female MMCX pin. Uh. Okay, for those of you who have stayed thus far in the video, uh, now I'll be telling you how to actually uh, get uh, involved in this uh, contest. Alright, email to us uh, at sales at sgaudiohive.com uh, down here below. On the number of times uh, I have mentioned uh in the whole video, uh, then uh, the closest five uh, contestants will be giving you a token of appreciation. Uh, it will be reviewed at the end of the video. And also, uh, I will need uh, some information from you, like uh, how you get to know us, and also how you find our videos. Any comments for improvement? And also, uh, please subscribe to our channel and also our follow our Instagram page. Uh, the rest of the information will be revealed at the end of the video, so uh, do stay stay tuned to the end. Okay, we have prepared the drivers and pins for the modification, but now the the housing itself, uh, okay, it's a bit um, sad that we need to remove the monk logo. But uh, this is so iconic that most people will spot that oh, it's a monk. Uh, even when uh. If we got the logo, so at this point, uh, we will be cutting off the housing. At this point, we will be leaving the logo. Uh, that's a sufficient length for this mod. So I'll be using a Dremel in this. Uh, if you have a hacksaw, you can saw it off, clamp it down, saw it off. But uh, in this mod, we'll be using we'll be using the Dremel.
Okay, so we have done the the side, and uh, we cannot see the hole because uh, it's uh, blocked up by the the burst from the plastic. Let's turn them down. And we have a nice uh, flat surface here. So let's get something to open up the burr. And you can see this is the hole that we are going to have our connector exit from. But also do realize that the, the hole size is different. Uh. We will need a different bit to enlarge the hole. Hand file is sufficient. Uh, you can use a pen knife, a tacto knife, craft knife. But of course we do have our Dremel tool here, so it will be in use. We'll use a pen knife to trim down the edges. A nice good big hole. Let's try the fitting. Okay, it does fit all the way in. So what we want to do is uh, we have this come up from the inside and we'll seal up the the inside. As usual we'll be doing this uh, for one side and uh, we'll review the both sides. Now, what we need uh, is uh, a pair of tweezers to f try to get the connector to come out from the hole below like this, but uh, all the way out. Okay, there we go. And the next step, uh, we will be doing this as a permanent mod, uh, so it will be using the epoxy resin. So we get the part, the two parts, uh, we will have some uh, resin. Part A and uh, part B. As always, uh, make sure that they are the same size. So uh, it's one to one. The best way to measure is the, to use a weighing scale, a micro scale. Or else uh, we can eyeball the size. That's about right. A bit too much here. And we'll begin to mix them up. Make sure that they are thoroughly uh, mixed up well and uh, you can have the curing process uh, more even. Alright, it's done. So let's uh, spin, split them into half, uh, one for each side. As always, uh, let's remove the the MMCX pin. We will roll a long piece. This is a long piece and wrap around the outside. Uh, it has to be on the outside of the connector at this part, not the below. So we will roll it off. And we install it with the Jesus. And now we'll pack down the the remaining uh, resin.
So you have a nice pin out and uh, remove any excess on the outside. And on the inside, we have to pack them down tightly so that uh, it will be permanently held there. The last step just to close up the earbud. No gluing is needed because they actually close by clips. You can hear the clipping sound. And that's done. So this will be all from this to this. And you have your own very own set of uh, removable MMCX uh, mounts which uh, you can play around with, try all other cables, uh, balance, forces, any other thing you can think of. It's all possible through DIY. So uh, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching all the way through. I'll be reviewing the product at the end uh, for just one second after we flash the product, uh, the final photo shoot for this uh, mod. And hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much. Do subscribe.